So today I'm behind the wheel of the 2023 Genesis GV60 Performance, and I'm going to take some time to go through the interior of this thing. So starting as I normally do from left to right, over on the left, you've got your window switches, you've got your door locks. Up here on this little bubble, you have your rear mirror adjust. You've got your door latch right here. Up here, there's two buttons uh, that can set the preset for the driver's seating position. To the right, you've got a button for the rear latch. This is the parking brake latch. Um, you have the dim level adjust for the gauge cluster, as well as the traction control off button. Moving to the gauge cluster, it is a full digital display. Um, it's actually two screens, but it's made to look like one consistent screen. So I'm gonna focus on the uh, driver information cluster first. So you have full digital screen tack over on the um, right, signified by a kind of charge and versus power um, bar, or I guess gauge. And over on the left, you got your speedometer. In the center, you can adjust between different screens. Um, mostly the driver accumulated info screen is in the center. Um, you got the charging level down and to the left, showcasing um, how many miles you have left and how much the percentage of the battery has been charged. Um, right here where it says level three, this can be adjusted. It's kind of like the regenerative braking system or the one pedal eye system. Um, so pushing the paddles, you can see how the eye pedal is on to the max extent. Now it's uh, kind of level three, level two, level one. I usually leave it right below, but basically it's kind of the strength of the regenerative braking in the vehicle. Moving to the steering wheel for further controls, as, as I just showed uh, those paddles on the back for the regenerative braking. You also have a bunch of driver assist options over on the left, fire control. Right here is how it's adjusting that center screen, um, cruise control settings. Um, over on the right, you have your um, volume, sorry, volume control over here. Uh, favorites button, talk buttons over here. Um, uniquely, uh, the drive mode button is down low, so pushing that changes the gauge cluster, obviously, between different drive modes, so that's comfort. Sport, a more red hueish color. Um, eco is more green. I've been leaving an eco for most of my drive. Uniquely, also, there is a nice button that I am enjoying. The boost button basically gives you all the power kind of instantly. So if you already have your right foot down, it's going to kind of give you that warp speed effect. Give you a better look at the steering wheel. The engine start stop button is located uh, down low um, behind the steering wheel. And then you have the gauge cluster. So like I said, it's kind of made to look like this continuous long uh, screen, but it's kind of cut off by the steering wheel, obviously. Um, so you have a bunch of different screen options. So this is kind of the um, homepage or screensaver screen showcasing your time. If you were listening to media where you are going over. Um, the first screen is the EV screen. So range, obviously showcasing um, you know, if you were to charge, so if I had the HVAC controls on, let me just turn stuff on. It kind of shows you if I turn it off, like what the mileage I will earn if I turn it off. So turn it back off, I get the full mileage. Showcasing things, other things, you can change your departure time, things like that. Map, where I am, destination, if I have that uh, phone projection, uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, currently don't have anything connected because um, I'm using it to record this. Uh, voice memo, setup, you can have different driver profiles enabled. Um, Sirius XM, media, the phone, as I said, HD radio, data, climate, seat, um, features, seats to kind of keep you uh, from having any sort of lumbar problems after like an hour of driving. It kind of give you like a massage and you can kind of adjust those settings here. Quiet mode, connected services, valet mode, notifications, and the user manual. Below that, you got two vents. Uh, HVAC controls are um, kind of a mix of touch sensitive buttons or touch screen buttons as well as manual buttons. So the temperature control is kind of you know physical button, but there's also touch screen options such as the fan volume 
Um, you can set it to just blow on the driver only, air conditioned heat, those are touch buttons on this little screen, but then you have the manual buttons as well. You can turn it off, obviously. Some more uh, preset buttons. Uh, pop you into some of those options, map, nav, radio, media, the hazard button, seek track, your favorites, and setup. Kind of pop you where you need to go. Tuck down below that, you've got a little cubby hole spot for um, some sunglasses. Then you have a, two USB-C um, plugs. Currently one is the USB, one is just uh, charging. So I'm using the USB connect my Android Auto and there's also a 12 volt smokers plug over there you've got a big cubby hole spot right there kind of keep things from going where your foot would be or to the passenger side and this is all an open area right here moving to the center console you've got your volume control right here tuner button back home menu and this is kind of a infotainment dial right here this is the um, gear shifter but it's kind of a geared dial um uniquely when the car is off this is kind of like a crystal ball that kind of flips inside and then reveals kind of this gear but it's not really coming through on the camera well but you got reverse neutral and drive right here you just twist it to get into each gear and then park is pushing down in the center which is currently lit up the p then you got two cup holders to the right of that behind there you've got uh, ventilated and heated seats for both the driver and the passenger the driver has a heated steering wheel there is the auto hold button for if you're at a red light and you want to uh, save your right foot you've got the parking uh, camera button so pushing this will get you in here you can also press and hold to activate the parking assist system but give you a better view of different views around the vehicle currently sitting next to a home depot parking sensor button as well right here is um, a charging pad if it was being used this would be lit up got arm rest revealing some good cubby hole space moving to the passenger side your glove box is kind of a drawer which is unique and i like that features the uh, bang oofslin surround sound system throughout so you got a speaker there better viewed on the passenger side as well as one tucked right there better look at the passenger door the seats same seating theme in the rear the front and the rear cabin feature this full glass um, roof the controls to reveal that up top that is pretty much the interior of the 2023 Genesis GV60 Performance. If there is a feature I didn't go in depth enough on and you have some questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And I would love to find you an answer. Thanks for watching.